Hello to Latvia, India, Italy, Orange. Yes, welcome, welcome. Hello again. <laughs> Happy Friday. Let's start with some Hello, salutations. Ireland. Some sun salutations. <laughs> Tadasana. Bring the feet together, root them firmly into the earth, and line up the toes. Relax the knees and slowly make your way up, lengthening the spine all the way through the crown of the head. Feel the breath. We want to breathe in and out slowly and fully through the nose. There are no mouth breathers in yucca yoga. Take a deep inhale as you reach the arms up overhead, Urva And exhale, we'll fold forward, Uttanasana. Relax the head down and feel the stretch all the way from the base of the spine through the crown of the head. You can bend the knees if you need to. Then we're just going to roll up all the way to standing. Tadasana. Inhale, reach the arms up, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Let's roll up to standing. And we're going to keep moving. Let's do that one more time. Reach, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Roll up. And then we're just going to keep moving to the next phase, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Spine is parallel with the earth. We're going to step the right foot back and set the feet up, Vira Udrasana 1. Inhale as you reach the arms, but soften the shoulders. Do that check every time with the knee. We want to make sure that the toes are following, or the knee rather, is following the middle toes of that front foot. But the knee should also be above the ankle or behind it. I'll say that once and just keep that in mind with every standing posture. We don't want to overextend the knee. Let's exhale, and we're just going to step forward. Uttanasana. Feel the breath. Relax the mind. And roll up all the way to standing. We'll sweep the arms up overhead, and maybe Come to the toes. How's your balance today, Alibaba? Far up. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, Urdhvastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Lift halfway up, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. The left foot steps back, 
Vera Padrasana 1. You can always widen the stance as well. So the feet are widening towards the edges of the mat and then also lengthening. So we have, we're using the quad here, not the ligaments in the knee, but the quad to support us. Feeling the breath. Exhale, hands come down as we step forward. Uttanasana. And we'll stack the spine, rolling all the way up. Sweep the arms into Urdhvastasana. Come to the toes if you can. And exhale, mountain pose. Feel the breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Ardha Uttanasana, lift halfway. The right foot steps back. You can widen the feet, Virabhadrasana one. So we're repeating the same standing posture that we just did. We're going to add on to our Surya Namaskar and go through our Vinyasa. Exhale the hands down and step back to a high plank. We are strong in this plank. The thumbs are pulling towards each other so the chest is engaged. And you can lower the knees down, put the tops of the feet down, and then inhale the heart through as you come up to Cobra, Bhujangasana. Pulling the belly in, we're lifting out of the lower back and lengthening the spine. And as you exhale, press the hips back, tuck the toes and press away from the hands for downward facing dog. And anytime you're in a yoga class or taking some online course, if somebody says downward facing dog and maybe it's not working for you, child's pose is always an acceptable alternative. Looking to the hands, we set the right foot forward. We have to bring the knee high up into the chest and then gently place it between the hands. Set up your foundation and then inhale the arms up. We're in a high lunge. So we're on the ball of the back foot in this posture. Exhale, step forward, Uttanasana. We're going to bend the knees and sit back into our imaginary chair. The weight moves into the heels as we lift the hands and lift the chest. We'll straighten the legs and come all the way up, maybe to the toes. Exhale the hands to the center of the chest. Feel the breath. Let's do the other side. Urdhvahastasana, reach the arms. Uttanasana, forward fold. Ardha Uttanasana, lift halfway. We'll exhale and step the left foot back for Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. 
Bring the hands down, and we're going to step into our high plank push up position. Utita Chaturanga Dandasana. Go ahead and put the knees down, the tops of the feet come down as you pull the chest through, pull the belly in, and lift the heart. And then exhale into your downward facing dog. You can always bend the knees in your downward facing dog if the hamstrings are tight. There should be no expectation for the heels to reach the floor. Not everybody can do that. It's okay. Inhale the left knee up as high as you can into the chest and we'll gently place it between the hands. Take your time as you inhale, coming into a high lunge. The variation for this pose, if your balance is off today, is to come down to the back knee and put the top of the back foot down. That's one variation. But if you're in standing, we're feeling the breath. Pull the belly in and the abdominals will lift the back foot forward to Uttanasana. Chair, Utkatasana. Bend the knees and lift the chest. All the way up. Exhale, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Taking full, even breaths, Sampurna breathing, in and out through the nose. Let's do one more sun salutation, but this time we'll do Surya Namaskar B. So we're incorporating Warrior Two. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold forward. Ardha Uttanasana, hands come to the thighs. The right foot steps back. And we set up for warrior two. So the heel comes down, the front heel of that left foot is approximately in line with the arch of the back foot. As you bring the arms parallel to the earth and reach strongly through the fingertips, but relax the shoulders down the back. Let's reverse the warrior and actually straighten the front leg. So give your quad a break. We're gonna reach the front arm up. This is reverse triangle. Exhale, warrior two. We'll cartwheel the hands to frame the front foot and step back into our high plank. Exhale, lower just a few inches, put the knees down, the tops of the feet down as you pull the chest through, Bhujangasana. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Tuck the toes, lift the hips and press back. We're spreading the fingertips, spreading the fingers wide and rooting especially into the base of the thumb and the index finger. Lift the right foot, bend the right knee and bring it up into the chest as you move into a 
High lunge. Anjaneyasana. Exhale, step forward. Uttanasana. Utkatasana, chair pose. Come all the way up. Let's play with balance to the toes. And lower down, mountain pose. Let's do the other side. Inhale, Urdhvasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana. The left foot steps back, set the feet up for warrior two. We're gonna straighten the front leg and then reach the front palm up, reverse triangle. Lifting through the torso, all the way through the fingertips, but then simultaneously rooting the feet. Exhale, the hands and knee comes down, warrior two. Frame the front foot and step back, high plank. Lower down, put the knees down, the tops of the feet come down. Inhale, up, Urdhva, Hastasana, I mean, Bhujangasana, Cobra. Or Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana. Exhale, Adho Mukha Shvanasana, downward facing dog. Lift the left foot, bend the left knee and bring it up into the chest. And then float the foot in between the hands. Inhale as you reach into high lunge. Use the abdominal muscles, Uddiyana Bandha, to Step forward into Uttanasana, forward fold. Relax the head down, feel the breath. Bend the knees and sit into Utkatasana, chair pose. Go ahead and lift all the way up. Tadasana, mountain pose. Fill the mind with breath. Let's continue and we'll make our way into or onto the floor. Lift, exhale, fold. Ardha Uttanasana. We're gonna step both feet back and come into a high plank. Moving through our vinyasa, you can Bend the elbows. If you wish, you don't have to come all the way down to the knees. You can curl the toes and lift up. This is Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana, or Upward Facing Dog, as an alternative. Then we'll take Downward Facing Dog. We're 
we're going to put the knees down and the tops of the feet down and take a few cat cow postures. As you inhale to lift the chest and the tailbone and exhale round the spine. Inhale, expand the front body. Exhale, expand the back body. Moving with the breath, with the breath at your own pace, slowly, slowly. We're just lubricating the spine, waking up the vertebra. So now maybe you move the spine in circular motion. Doesn't have to just be up and down. Take the liberty to move the spine in any direction that feels good. Exploring all the ways our spine can move. If you're moving in one direction, change the direction. Go ahead, when you're ready, come back to neutral. And then we'll take the knees wide and sit back into a child's pose. You can reach the hands forward and relax the head onto the earth and feel the breath. On an inhale, let's walk the hands over to the right side of the mat, and then you'll find a side body stretch. Inhale, coming back to center. Let's make our way to the other side. And then come to center. We'll lift up and Come into a seated position. Let's take a little strength building pose in the abdominals. We'll move into Navasana, the boat pose. So we're resting on our sits bones, the sitting bones, the ischial tuberosities. You can bend the knees and lift them up into the chest. We're supporting the legs behind the thighs and you have the knees at approximately 90 degrees. So you can stay here and just support the legs. If it's accessible, maybe you let go of the legs and extend the hands. And maybe you stay here or extend the legs. Exhale, let's cross the legs, and we're going to continue to build strength here, press into the earth, and just lift the seat up, maybe legs, and then lower down. Let's do that again. So the knees start bent, you can support underneath the thighs, pull the belly in, 
Maybe release the hands. Maybe straighten the legs. Exhale, switch the cross of the legs and press into the earth. And lower down. Now let's bring the soles of the feet together. We'll take Baddha Konasana. Inhale. And then exhale, fold forward. Come on up. Straighten the left leg and then bring the right knee to the center line of the body. We're going to come into a seated twist, Marichyasana. So the right knee is bent, the right hand comes behind for support. We inhale left up to lengthen and then in the navel, the belly button, when we twist, you can bring the left elbow outside of that bent knee and breathe. Take a deep inhale into the upper back, and as you exhale, let's unwind. Lower the right knee down, but keep the foot inside the thigh. We'll take Janu Sirshasana. So the left leg is extended. We inhale the arms up to lengthen, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come on up. Straighten the right leg. Bend the left knee. We'll take Marichyasana on the other side. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale, we twist in the navel, bringing the elbow outside of the bent knee. Deep inhale, exhale, come back to center, lower the knee down, inhale to lengthen, exhale, fold. Slowly, come on up. And we'll just 
take a cross-legged position. We'll come into Sukhasana. It's a great opportunity for a blanket or a pillow to sit on. We like to elevate the hips. So it helps us have a nice long spine. So the moment that we've all been practicing for, this comfortable seated posture. Now the body is ready to begin the real work. But before that, we do some conscious breathing, pranayama. We'll start with cleaning the nadis, shodhana. This is alternate nostril breathing. So taking the index finger and the middle finger into the space in between the brows, the right thumb is going to press onto the right nostril and you're going to breathe in and out through the left side. Now we're going to place the ring finger over the left and hold the breath for just four seconds, closing both nostrils. Exhale. And we're going to keep the ring finger on the left side and open the right side, lifting the thumb. Now we're going to breathe in and out through the right nostril. On the next exhalation, release the hand and feel the breath, breathing fully in and out through the nose and experience bliss. Breathing into the mind. Let the waves of breath wash over the thoughts and carry them out to the vast ocean. Thanks everybody for tuning in, have a great weekend.